Okay. Well, thank you, uh, Michael, for your introduction. Uh, my name is Coco. You can call me Miss Coco, and I am a science teacher from uh, Global EDU. Today is our first lesson on dinosaur science, and we're going to um, have a wonderful adventure. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I before uh, uh, we start, I want us to take a look at our desktop. Uh, see if you have prepared your material. And if you are ready, I think uh, then you are ready to uh, walk into the world of dinosaurs with me. Okay. I'm going to move you guys on the side right over here. Can you guys see the PowerPoint? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hi, teacher. Um, can you uh, can you hover your mouse uh, on top of the screen and can you see a uh, bar popped out? Yeah. And on the right side, there is a more yep. menu. Open the menu and find a disable annotation. Disable annotation for more. Yeah. Okay. Did that? Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Got okay, it. Good. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I believe we've all learned a little bit about dinosaurs or read about dinosaurs. Now, these giant reptile creatures uh, that have existed millions and millions of years ago, um, scientists have discovered more than 1,000 species of them. Now, let's take a look today at some common ones. Now, uh, Ms. Coco has uh, listed a, a couple of the common dinosaurs. Uh, I'm going to have uh, five hand up uh, today. If you can raise your hand and uh, tell me, uh, what do you know about the T-Rex? I'm gonna take the first hand raise. What do you know about the T-Rex dinosaur? They're carnivores. They're carnivores, wonderful. So what do carnivores eat? Meat. Meat, awesome, you guys are gorgeous. And then how about the pterosaur? Who knows about the pterosaur? It can fly. Yes, pterosaurs could fly. And now, they what are fish, I think. Yes, 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 yes. The long, long beak helps them dive into the water and catch fish. Great. Now, how about the stegosaurus with their mysterious spikes on the back? It's a herbivore and it has a spike. Nice. And what are the spikes for? Who knows? What do they use the spikes for? Defends mm. themselves. Ah, yes. Their spikes are their defense armors to protect themselves from carnivore dinosaurs from spikes biting onto their back. Great. Now, how about our Triceratops? It's a herbivore. They need, they need horns for defense, like same. Oh, so many students know about di the dinosaur Triceratops. Great. It's a herbivore and, and, and they got wait. horns for defense. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Coco cut you off. Can you say that one more time, Ella? And I think they sometimes migrate. Yes, yes, yes. And they migrate in the grip. Awesome. Now, how about the platypus? And the platypus? Herbivore. Mm, herbivore. Ooh, and la la. I have, and I have, I think they have a long neck. Yes. And um, what are the long, long necks for? Do you know? For eating trees. Ah, from 
eating leaves from the tree. And awesome. I, and I think this is the biggest dinosaur. It weighs like many, it's super heavy. Yes, yes, and it's a heavy ton dinosaur. And the, do they move fast or slow? Slow. Oh, no. <laughs> like I think. <laughs> Great, great, great. You guys are so good. You guys are great, great scientists. Now, my next question is, because you guys know so, so much about dinosaurs, Miss Coco doesn't have to teach. You guys did all the lessons for Miss Coco. Now, hmm, I have a new question. Since dinosaurs have, uh, they went extinct over 66 million years ago, that's long, long, long before uh, humans exist in uh, our recorded history. Now, mm, so how do scientists study about dinosaurs? They found a bone. Or fossil. They find fossil. Ooh, fossils. And uh, what are dinosaur fossils? Hmm. Dinosaur bones. That that are made out of rock because the water, um, the water, uh, yeah. And sometimes they found a losing bone and they're trying to put it together to make a giant dinosaur. Nice, 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 yes. Scientists learn all about dinosaurs from dinosaur fossils. And dinosaur fossils are indeed their bones. You guys are gorgeous. Yes, so today we are going to learn about dinosaur fossils. <laughs> now, so when we learn about dinosaur fossils, we have some model bones that Miss Coco wants you to take out from the box. I want you to pick one dinosaur fossil bone from the package, okay? And carefully, um, Miss Coco wants you to remove the uh, wrap from the package and... Okay. So make, make sure that you take out the bones carefully. Now watch your little fingers. I don't want you to get hurt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, once you have got this, once you have got the bones out, Once you have got the bones out, Miss Coco wants you to try to puzzle the bones, to puzzle the bones back together. Which one? Where should, where should this be? And how about this one? Is this, hmm? what does this look like? What is this body part? And what is this body part? Where does each body part belong? Okay. Olivia, you doing great? <laughs> All done, Olivia? Awesome. Meow, yeah, so we still need some time? Okay. Just I was need some time. Okay, no problem. Okay. 
干什么？把我这个麦克风弄好。哦Let's go, go, go to give us one more minute. One more minute. <laughs> Toto's, Toto's working on it very hard. And Justin's working on it very, very attentively. <laughs> now we got the T-Rex too. Hello, Karen. Now, for those of you who have your camera off, I'm sorry, Miss Coco cannot see you. But if you want Miss Coco to double check your work in progress, go ahead and turn your camera on and point your cam um, camera uh, towards your uh, working table so Ms. Coco can take a look. Nice, Olivia, you did a wonderful job. Hey, now, mm, for those of you who have completed your dinosaur pu puzzle, Ms. Coco wants you to, to double check. Ooh. Bang, bang, you did a wonderful job. Great. That looks amazing. Awesome. So if you have completed your dinosaur fossil, Miss Coco wants you to take out your dinosaur handbook. Okay? So go ahead and take out your dinosaur handbook. Miss Coco Do wants you to turn it. Stick it. it. Do you have to stick it? No, you don't have to stick it to anything. Miss Coco just wants you to double check and go to page number. Eight. Please go, turn your page to number eight and tell Miss Coco which dinosaur did you puzzle back? Which type of dinosaur is this? Okay. I, I think I made the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ooh, okay, so the Tyrannosaurus, the T Rex, right? I did the T Rex too. Olivia, did the T-Rex too? Hmm? Do we have any other uh, piece of dinosaurs? You guys are all in, in favor of T-Rex? Mm. <laughs> Is it because it's one of the most fearful dinosaurs? Alrighty. And some animal could live like long as a dinosaur, like the crocodile before the crocodile or the turtle, like is like was the dinosaur. Yes, yes, yes. During the dinosaurs' time, there are also uh, uh, other reptiles and other ma uh, uh, mammals uh, uh, um, that's living. Uh, uh, that's living also um, amongst their kind. Now, mm -hmm. since I think I see most of us are done with our dinosaur fossils, I'm going to quiz you guys one more time. Now, <laughs> we did say that the, the Stegosaurus, we have, we have three types of dinosaur bones. One is the Stegosaurus, one is the Triceratops, and one is the T-Rex. Mm, who did the Stegosaurus? Anyone? Mm, no one? Okay, then Miss Coco has to introduce about the Stegosaurus. Now, we have the Stegosaurus, and we talked about how the Stegosaurus has 
spikes on their bread, and they're also herbivores. Now, they share the same 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 food menu, uh, not exactly the same, but similar uh, uh, food menu as the Triceratops. They also eat plants and leaves, and that's why their teeth are rounder and a little bit flatter comparing to the T-Rex because they need those um, big and rounder teeth to nom, 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 to grind down and chew like a raptor. on the fibers. And who did the Triceratops? Me. Me. Let me see. Who's me? <laughs> Can you tell your name? Oh, Kristen, Christina? Christina, can you tell us something about the Triceratops then? Uh, nothing. Just to tell you I did it. <laughs> Just want to share it uh, uh, with Miss Coco that you did the Triceratops? Yeah. Yes, okay. you were. You're asking who did the triceratops. Okay, thank yes. you for your vote. All right, so Christina did the triceratops, and we talked about how the triceratops ha um, has three horns, two on its head, and one on its nose. Now, triceratops have a neck frill on its neck. Now, who can tell Ms. Coco, mm, what is the neck frill for? To stop dinosaurs from biting that part because it's really hard. Yes, Olivia, great, great job. That's right. They have, Triceratops have the neck frill as a protective armor to stop carnivore dinosaurs from biting on its neck. That's to, that's to save his, uh, his own life. Great. Now about the T-Rex, we talked about the T-Rex is a carnivore and it eats meat. Well, what else can you guys tell me? Mm, can you take a look at the dinosaurs' claws and teeth? What do they look like? Human. <laughs> human? Mm, do they really look like human? Do we have, do we have the same teeth as T-Rex? Dinosaurs have two claws. Ah, okay. And um, are the claws sharp or flat or round? They're sharp. But they are awesome. sharp. Nice, nice. Great observations, you guys. The oh. raptor, they are carnivore. Yes, the Jurassic Park blue. <laughs> you um you uh, uh you discovered uh, that uh, T Rex are carnivores in Jurassic Park. <laughs> I watch Jurassic Park too. I like that movie. But not everything, not every um every dinosaur fact from the Jurassic Park is true. <laughs> so we're gonna have to we're going to have to be cautious with movies. Now, Miss Coco wants us to think about another question. Now, um, when dinosaur fossils were discovered by scientists, when they were very underground, are they perfect, were they perfectly in shape? Like are they, you know, are they they're nice not perfect and in shape? shape? Because there's some maybe could be in other places and scientists are trying to put them in, to make a giant dinosaur with the other bones that are loose. Yes, yes, yes. Great job, Sebastian. That's correct. So when fossils were first discovered by scientists, they are not perfect. Okay. And like Sebastian said, they're um they're they're loose and they're scattered in different places. Okay. And scientists have to um piece all the tiny pieces together, just like what we did with our dinosaur bones right here and now there is a name for these scientists who study fossils mm, does anybody know how to pronounce this the, the name of this scientist that starts with a p 
paleologist. Great, great guy. Almost very, very close. Paleontologist, okay? Paleontologist is what these scientists are called. Now, these scientists, paleontologists, they study fossils, any type of fossils of prehistorical beings, not just dinosaurs. Um, they also study marine animals and they study fossils of plants as well. Now, paleontologists have to sort each of the body parts when they discover dinosaur fossils. And they have to piece them back together carefully. And they have sometimes have to glue them back. And it's a really, really tough job. And now, they're and like some astronauts, they send a robot to discover fossils in Mars or other planets. Maybe if they discuss this, maybe they discuss one, that means they 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 have an alien or something on the planet. Yes, yes, Sebastian. That that is true. Now, hmm, so we have two types of di uh, uh, fossils. One is the remain fossil and the other one is the trace fossil. Now with the remain fossil, it, the remain fossils are what you can feel and what you can, uh, what you can physically see, the bones, the leftover bones and shells. Now, for the trace fossils is what is what plants and animals left a mark on, such as footprints. Okay? Now let's try to make a trace fossil ourselves. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right. Now Ms. Go go wants you to to go ahead and take out one square container. Okay, one square container. Okay, great. So on your empty square container, Ms. Coco wants you to remove, to take out your yellow plasticine, okay? I want you to remove the wraps on the plasticine. And I want you to put the yellow plasticine, you can, you can squish in, push, 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 push. Try to push, try to push your plasticine into the square container. Now, if the plasticine does not fit perfectly, yeah, good job, Neil. Um, Neil, it's the square container, okay? It's the other one, the square container, okay? Don't worry if it's a tight fit, you can soften the plasticine later. Okay, Ms. Coco will show you how to soften the plasticine. Good job, Haley. That's good. Okay. All right, so our next step, for our next step, here's what Ms. Coco wants you to do too for the next step, okay? Can I have mommy and daddy over? Or any adults from home? Grandma or grandpa here with you? Okay. Can I can I ask uh, can I ask you, my lovelies? Can you call any adults from home over to help you? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. My guardians. Okay. All right. I'm going to ask mommy or daddy, grandpa or grandma, to help my lovelies pour hot water into our container of plasticine and have the water submerge, have the water be submerging just slightly over our plasticine. Yeah, we're going to soak our plasticine in hot water for 30 seconds. Yeah. Go ahead, Olivia. Mm -hmm. 
Dustin, did you get mommy to uh, put hot water in for you? Yep, Chris. Okay. Yep. So you can, Christina? Could you wait? Christina? I'm not done yet. Yeah? I'm not done yet. Don't worry, Miss Coco will wait. Miss Kaylee and Karina. Okay, it's okay. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit, Kaylee and Karina. You can, you can now ask mommy or daddy to help you pour wa hot water into the container and soak it. Soak all of the plastic in, in hot water. Make sure that it's become nice and soft, okay? So you're going to soak this in hot water for about 30 seconds. And if after 30 seconds it's still not soft, you're gonna soak it more, okay? So what you want to do is make sure this plasticine has become very, very soft for you to mold, okay? Keep this inside the container. Keep the plasticine inside the container. After soaking the plasticine, and when it becomes nice and soft, Miss Coco wants you to pour all of the hot water out, okay? Make sure you pour all of the hot water out. Olivia, it's the square container, okay? Yep. Yeah? Olivia's done. It's soft. Okay. Do not, do not, do not break the uh, plasticine. Keep the plasticine nice and uh, and as a whole in the square container. Mama, also the square. Awesome. All right. So it seems like Haley and Karina are pretty good. Okay. All right. Did you pour all of the water out? Nice. At, um, Afia, is this how you pronounce your name? Okay. Afia, seems like yours is pretty good. Is it soft? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So pour all of your hot water out. Here is our next step. Pour all of your hot water out. Be careful. Do not burn your fingers or um, any part of your um, um, your body. Okay. okay, after pouring all of the hot water out, we're going to use our finger, our thumb, or the rest of your fingers, whichever you prefer. Here's what you're going to do, okay? Are you ready? All right, get your fingers out, get your fingers out. You're going to, yes, nice, nice, nice. You're going to crease, to make sure that all around the edges, you're gonna use your fingers or your thumb to crease and press really tightly to make sure that all of the four edges around the container are air sealed, okay? Okay, so I want you to press your plasticine Gently, but hard, um, a little bit hard, but crease it all over to make sure that all around the edges, the plasticine, the air sealed all around the container's walls. Nice, Afia. Good, Afia, you're so good. Um, wait, I have a question. So, if is the square container um like two or one? One, my lovely. One square container for the plastic. Okay. Awesome, Toto. Yours looks pretty good. 
Toto, is, is yours a square container? Yours look rectangular though. Good, Neil. Okay, um, make sure this air seals, okay? Because you're gonna have to pour mixture inside the, um, uh, uh, onto this plasticine. And I don't want the mixture to leak and go underneath your container, okay? All right. Yes, Neil? So, um, it's very hard to take this container and out of the, there's two container and I cannot take one of the container out of, separate this. Okay, hey, Meow. Um, Ms. Coco has sent you an image and instruction on how to open the containers earlier. Um, but um, can you ask mommy or daddy to come help you if you don't have enough strength to pull to pull the containers apart? Okay. Thank you. No worries. All right. Now here's the next step. Okay. Miss Coco also wants you to use your fingers. Continue using your fingers and your thumb. Smooth out the surface of your plasticine so there, there is no clump and bump on top, okay? So make sure there's no crump and bump on your plasticine. Make it nice and smooth. The smoother, the better. Great job, Afia. Yours looks so pretty. Nice and smooth. Yes, uh, Felina? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Selena. You got a question? All right, so I think we're good to move on to the next step. I see all of us are working pretty nicely. Great, so Miss Coco wants you to take out the dinosaur, the dinosaur bones that you have previously puzzled. And I want you to create a dinosaur fossil story. Hmm, now, in your dinosaur fossil story, here's what you're going to do. You're going to think about what happened when this dinosaur died. Mm, what is, what, what posture do you want to give this dinosaur fossil? <laughs> mm, would it be sleeping? Would it be standing up and eating? Would it be just lying down nicely? Mm -hmm. How do you want, how do you want to place the, your dinosaur fossils? I want you to place your fossils into your preferred posture to create your own dinosaur story. Okay, I want you to place it nicely onto the plasticine, okay? Like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In my head, whoops. So here. Hey, hey. And the legs. Hey. Awesome. Great. So, next, I want you to press your fingers, okay? Press your fingers onto your bones, okay? Make sure that you make a really, really, really deep dent. Make sure you create push, 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 
push, push, push, push, push. And create a really deep dent. Push to make sure that you have a really deep dent on your plastic. You're going to make a trace fossil. <laughs> so your dinosaur trays have to be really deep, a really deep dent. The deeper the dent, the better. Okay. Thank you. Okay, nice, Sophia. Very good, Mario. Awesome. Who else is done with their tree fossil? Now, when you're done making a deep, deep den, you can go ahead. Yeah, good job. My go head. ahead and remove your dinosaur bones. Okay, go ahead and remove your dinosaur bones. Yes, yeah, your hand can. Uh, your hand may hurt a little bit from pressing so, so, so hard onto the plus uh, onto the bones and plastic. Takes a little bit of strength. Okay, so you can remove your dinosaur bones from your plasticine. And all you have left on, on the plasticine is the marks that, the dent marks that you have made. Okay. Nice. Good job, Haley Karina. Christina, Olivia. Good job. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's get set for our next step. Okay. Now, before we move on to our next step, Miss Coco wants you to put on gloves and goggles. Let's put on your gloves and goggles. Now, this is really important because we want to protect our eyes and we want to protect our hands and fingers. So make sure that we all have our gloves and goggles on for self-protection. This self-protection is the first protocol of being a responsible panatologist, okay? So Ms. Coco is not going to put gloves and goggles on because um, Coco is going to teach and I'm not going to create this mixture. But for all of you, my lovely, you're going to put on your gloves and goggles. Okay, be a responsible panatologist. All right, great. Now, this time, Ms. Coco wants you to take out a new square container, empty, new square container okay take out your empty new square container and also take out your measuring spoon measuring spoon and your and a new square container that is empty okay ready next i Bye. want you to take out your package of ginseng powder. Now make sure, oh, make sure that it is, it starts with a G, ginseng powder. This is the, is the powder that we're going to use to create our model dinosaur fossil, okay? 
All right. We're going to use a scissor to cut our ginseng powder package open. Okay. Great job. Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of us are ready with the package. All right. Okay. So here, let's hear the formula out. Okay. Are you ready for the formula? Yeah. A lot of you are. Awesome. Great. So, Wait. Coco wants you. I'm not done yet. Yeah, a lot of students are ready. So I want you to go um, listen for the formula. Okay. I'm going to go step by step so you can hear Miss Coco out for the formula. Okay. Okay. All right. So Miss Coco wants you to take out six flat spoons of gymsum powder and pour the gymsum powder onto your empty square container. Okay. Six flat spoons. Okay, how do you make sure the uh, it's flat spoon? So once you have scoop a, a spoon full of gemsum powder, you're going to use your hearing rod to go ahead and scrape it horizontally like this. And then you can go ahead and dump all of the flat spoon into the container. Make sure you have six flat spoons, okay? I don't want the powder to be over rising. So six flat spoons, my student. <laughs> Emily, Miss Coco could not see your face. An hour measuring spoon. Yep, you're going to use the measuring spoon from the box. Use the measuring spoon. Okay. Now you're going to take six measuring spoons of gemsum powder okay. from the packet. Six spoons of gymsum powder into your container. Neil, good job. Keep going. Haley and Karina, that's pretty good. Olivia, good job. Akia, good. Is it this spoon? This one. Yeah, there's only one measuring spoon from the box. Is it? Is this one? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, if you're ready with six spoons, you can wait a little bit. Um, Ms. Coco is going to give us one more minute for the powder before we move on. Should I use, um, should I pour all the gems and powder in the square container box? Yeah, you have to listen to Miss Coco. Miss Coco says six spoons. Okay? okay six, six spoons. Six spoons of gymsum powder into your container. Okay, I see Olivia ready. I see Neil ready. Okay, I see Afia ready. Haley and Karina, are you, are you ready? Okay, I see. Okay, Neil, you're ready, I see. Um, Miranda, are you ready? Okay, I see Justin ready. Okay, I see Christina says ready. What's your name? Miss Coco. Not Christina. 
Serenio? Oh. Is this okay? Um, I cannot see how Barbie. many spoons that is, but um, did you count that is six spoons? Of that? Yeah, six mm -hmm. measuring spoons. I can mute it again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna have to count six measuring spoons. Okay, so a lot of us are ready. Now, here's what you do next. Okay. I want you to grab a cup of water. Okay. Ms. Coco asked that you prepare a cup of water on the side before class. So please take out your cup of water. Now, Listen very, very, very carefully, okay? So here's how much, here's how many, here's how much water you should add, okay? Use the same measuring spoon. Miss Coco wants you to put in five measuring spoon of water. Five measuring spoon of water in the same container with the powder. Five spoon of water into the same container with the gym sum powder. Okay. After putting water in, you can go ahead and use the steering rod with the ball side, with the ball side and go ahead and steer, steer, steer. Okay, so five spoon of water five spoons of water go ahead and steer 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 the mixture very very nicely and then when you don't see any powder in the mixture you can go ahead and pour your mixture onto the plasticin when you don't have any more powder in the mixture. Okay, seems like Olivia is doing a good job. Justin is doing a good job, pretty, pretty good. Afia, can I see your mixture? Nice, that seems pretty good. Okay, go ahead and keep searing. Make sure it's liquidy, okay? So you're going to, you're going to dip your Dip the ball side of your steering rod into your mixture. Pick it up. If the liquid drops, uh, um, drips and drops from your ball, that means it's it's good to, to go, okay? If it's a little thick, then you can uh, go ahead and add just half a spoon of water. So I fear you're pretty good. Yours is dripping pretty good, okay? I fear. Is it a good mix? No powder? All right, then Afia, you can go ahead and pour your mixture onto the plasticine container, okay? Now Afia, when you pour it onto, when you pour your mixture on, um, onto your plasticine, you're going to, now watch Miss Coco, one, two, three, eyes on me. Okay, you're going to gently, pretend my hand is the table, you're going to gently, Hold uh, the container with one hand, shake it a little bit to even out the mixture so that the mixture lays nice and evenly on top, on top and all over the whole container. Okay, so it covers the whole surface area of your tray sauce. Nice. Justin, are you using a brush? <laughs> Justin X? Um, you can, if you don't, if you cannot find the steering rod, you can actually uh, use a, a chopstick or any kind of stick at, uh, from home, okay? Um, a brush is not a good idea for mixture. Okay. 
steering wheel is from the bus. Okay. Haley and Karina, are you done with the mixture? Did you pour it onto the plasticine? Yeah? Good. Okay. So once you have poured it onto the plasticine, good job. That looks nice. And Olivia, you poured it into the plasticine as well. You're waiting. That did you um kind of slightly shake it to even it out? Perfect. Afia, yours looks pretty good. Haley, Karina, yours looks pretty good. Okay. So we're gonna just wait for 30 minutes for our model fossil to dry. Now our experiment is completed. We're going to wait for our mixture to dry. <laughs> now Ms. Coco is going to show you my previously made fossil. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Now, this is my uh, dinosaur fossil. Yes, I had made a T-Rex. And what I did, when, it, when I remove it from the container, it's nice and white. So what I did, I painted it with some home paint. And I painted my bones darker and my uh, sentimental rock to be a little bit lighter. So you can do it. You can do it the other way around. So you can paint your sentimental rocks darker and, your, and you can paint your bone, uh, dinosaur bone fossils a, um, a little bit lighter. That's to create a contrast. And when you are done taking it out, you can go ahead and put it into the display the fossil display in the box. Okay, you can also look for this box, transparent display box from the box. <laughs> while we're waiting, while we're waiting, I want to ask you, my lovely, now who knows about dinosaur fossil formation? How do fossils form? Can anyone tell me? What is the first step about dinosaur formation? They die. <laughs> yes, a dinosaur has to die. Now what happens after the dinosaur died? It gets buried and flooded. Yes, Olivia. It, the dinosaur gets buried and um, uh, with with mud and blood of water. Great, so what happened after being buried uh, with some mud and flooding over? Excuse me, um, yes, should sir? I put the water inside this um, yellow container with the dinosaur mark in it? Uh, yes, go ahead. When you're done with the mixture, meow. When you're done with the mixture, go ahead and pour it onto the plastic and container. Okay. So after this dinosaur gets uh, buried by flood, there are many, many, many layers of other soil that's piled up and built up on the, dino, the, the dinosaur bones, okay? And uh, the, the flesh and the muscles of the dinosaur starts decomposing and with thousands and millions of years, layers and extra layers and extra layers uh, gets piled up, the bones get <laughs> compressed. And slowly and slowly, slowly over time, the fossils, the bones get hardened and uh, uh, became rocks. And that's how our fossils came to be. Next. <laughs> now, Ms. Coco want us to do a comparison. Mm. Our comparison, on our comparison, now, Ms. Coco wants you Miss Coco wants you. Miss Coco wants you to think about 
this. Mm, is your dinosaur fossil that you created a remain fossil or a bone fossil? A remain fossil or a bone, uh, sorry, a remain fossil or a trace fossil? Mm -hmm. Are there bones on your plasticin? <laughs> yes. Um, so, what did you leave behind with the dent mark? <laughs> These are trace marks because there are no bones nor shells on your plasticin. You made a dent mark. So these are your trace fossils that you're creating. Great. Now, um, let me quiz you. The real dinosaur fossil took millions and millions and million years to, um, to form and turn into rock fossils. Now, how many minutes do we have to wait for our model fossil? 30. 30. Yes. Great. Thank you 30. for paying attention. Good job. That's great. It is 30 minutes that we have to wait. You guys are awesome. Yes, we have to wait 30 minutes for our dinosaur model fossil to dry. So please make sure after our class today, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, you're going to have to wait for 30 more minutes to make sure that everything is nice and dry. Now, when it's nice and dry, here's how you can take it out. You can pull, use your two hands to pull the container just slightly apart so that the plasticin and the mixture that is dried up, you can just pull it apart to make sure that the edges are disconnected, okay? When you have pulled all around the edges, just a couple times, you're gonna have to repeat this a couple times. When it's, when it's disconnected from the edges, you, you can go ahead and flip the container over, tap it a little bit, it will fall apart, okay? That's how you remove it when it's dry. Ooh, Olivia, don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait for it to, uh, wait for it patiently for it to dry. Okay. All right. So nice. Kaylee, Karina, you made your own fossils too? Is that a fossil that you previously made? That looks good. Awesome. So that's everything that everything that Ms. Coco that um, uh, want us to want us to do today. Now, before we go, I want to share with us a very 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 pretty fossil. Now, this type of fossil is called the preserved remain fossil. It's also called the ember fossil. Who knows what the ember fossil? How the ember fossils are formed? Uh, on the trees have liquid that's very sticky and stuff like leaves or bugs get trapped in it and they get preserved there because it does it doesn't decay make them perfect yes 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 so that's exactly how how this dragonfly gets kept so nicely, and you can see the details of the dragonfly's wings. So um, it's the driplets, the, um, the very, very sticky driplets from the trees, dripped from the tree, and this poor, poor dragonfly get, got caught when it was flying, flying around the trees. And once it, was, it got caught, it dropped to the, it dropped to the ground, and then later on, there's rain and there's blood that cover it. 
and then over time, layers and layers and layers and layers of soil covered on top, and after thousands and millions of years, and then, then it gets hardened and it became ember. Okay, and it gets discovered by panel colors. Okay, that's how it's for. Okay, thank you so, so much for class today. Now, do we have any other questions?